Welcome to Vacuum News, the video channel for industrial vacuum applications. My name is Wolfgang Wieland. Today Manuel is once again with us. He will show us the unit in a minute. And it is a very special unit which we have here today for you. It's a Vectrailer Cat, Cat for Catalyst, a Vectrailer Cat 6000, which is designed for catalyst handling in refineries. That is uh, a very special job which this unit can do. In refineries there are reactors. The reactors are usually filled with a catalyst and this catalyst can be toxic, inflammable, but also pyrophoric, which means that it will start to burn once it gets in contact with oxygen, which means with the air that we are breathing. And in order to control uh, this uh, risk of fire, uh, there are a lot of safety installations which are installed here in the unit and we are going to explain that to you in a minute. Manuel will now start up the unit. Please Manuel, if you could uh, start the unit and uh, then bring the container uh, into its working position. This will be done with the hydraulic cylinders which you can see behind me while well, you can see just one of them, the others on the other side. And with these two cylinders uh, the container can be tipped by 90 degrees into its working position and uh, then there are other hydraulic cylinders which allow us to vertically position the container to get the right discharge height and we will bring uh, the container in the maximum vertical position. This is necessary at the job site in order to find the right discharge height for the locally provided discharge containers or catalyst containers. Uh, when the reactor is being opened so that an operator can go inside and start suction work, air would come into the reactor and uh, the pyrophoric catalyst in the reactor would start to burn. And in order to prevent this, the reactor is being filled with nitrogen. The operator who goes inside now has a breathing equipment so that he can breathe. 
and uh, we are now extracting the material, the catalyst, but not with air as normally as a transport medium, but here with nitrogen. This is not a problem for our unit. The unit can work with nitrogen, but of course a normal suction unit would just blow the nitrogen into the atmosphere, and this is a very costly operation. So uh, the refinery and also uh, the service contractor want to recover uh, the uh, nitrogen and return it into the reactor. And this is being done with the unit. As the nitrogen goes through our pump, it gets very, very hot, you know, up to 150 degrees, and it must be cooled down to normal temperature, 20 degrees, after it has left our unit. And this is being done with a water cooler, which is here on board of the unit. In various places in the, the unit, especially near the pump, but also in the filter hopper, nitrogen at uh, atmospheric conditions but also compressed nitrogen is available for various operation and this is also being supplied by our unit. How this is being done and how this is being controlled I will explain to you in a minute. This unit is not only equipped for pyrophoric material but also for explosive suction material uh, where there's a risk of dust explosions and therefore the collection container is equipped with uh, explosion relief valves, the big black valves which you can see on the unit. In case of a dust explosion in the container, the explosion pressure would uh, exit the unit, would get out of the unit in a controlled way through these valves. And that's also why you can see two suction inlet connections here, one for explosive material, the other for non-explosive material. If explosive material is being extracted, we have to go through the suction inlet where you can see the explosion return valve, the big blue valve. Uh, in case of a dust explosion in the collection container, the explosion flame would return into the suction line and could come out where the operator is doing a suction work and of course there might be explosive or inflammable material be lying around. And therefore the explosion return valve, which will close the suction line in case of an explosion in the collection container. You can see the double slide gate at the lower end of the collection container. With a double slide gate it is possible to continuously discharge suction material while doing su suction work. This is an advantage if you want to work as fast as possible. With a double slide gate it is possible to discharge the uh, suction material without interrupting the suction work. You can see here this uh, flexible line. This is the clean air side of the filter. Uh, depending on uh, the type of suction work, this will be either air or nitrogen. If it is nitrogen or air, uh, the gas, the nitrogen or the air will go here through this line into uh, this unit, which you can see here. Inside is the vacuum pump. In the vacuum pump, the gas, nitrogen or air, depending with uh, what type of gas we are sucking. Uh, the gas will get very, very hot. 150 degrees. If it is nitrogen, it needs to be cooled down because it, before it goes back to the reactor. And this is being done with a water cooler, which I mentioned before, which you can see here at the rear end of the vacuum unit. If it's normal air, the air will just go out here through this perforated metal sheet. If it is nitrogen, the perforated metal sheet is taken away and a flexible line is being connected here, which returns the nitrogen to the reactor. We are back now on the other side of the unit and you can see here everything which is necessary to control the unit. In the rear part we have everything which is required for the nitrogen side. Uh, it is possible to connect nitrogen here, external nitrogen, compressed nitrogen but also normal nitrogen uh, to distribute the nitrogen at the various positions in the unit where it is necessary. It is also possible to connect external compressed air. The unit also has a compressed air compressor on board, but still external and compressed air would be possible. Here is uh, the connections for uh, the water cooler, normal water in order to cool down the compressed or the nitrogen which comes out of our vacuum pump. Uh, this here is very important. It's an uh, earthing uh, clamp to ground the unit to earth and uh, this is especially required for explosive types of suction material. The whole unit needs to be grounded to earth in order to avoid electrostatic discharges. 
And this is also controlled by an electronic earthing control, which makes sure that the unit is really connected to earth and that uh, the earth is everywhere distributed correctly inside the unit. Um, here we have everything which is necessary to control the unit itself, the motor control here. And uh, this is uh, the various flaps. You can see here the little lights which will indicate each position of each flap uh, so that it is possible for the operator to immediately see the working condition of the unit. Inside of the vacuum unit we then have uh, the vacuum pump. 6,000 cubic meters per hour is the maximum airflow of this pump. Uh, maximum pressure, maximum under pressure, negative pressure is 800 millibar. And you can also see the diesel engine which drives the vacuum pump. This is an 186 kilowatt diesel engine. As you could see, this is a rather complex unit. A lot of technology is installed here in order to control uh, the suction work under nitrogen. A lot of safety uh, components are installed to make sure that nothing goes wrong. And uh, this is of course a very special market, but Wieland has uh, developed into the leading supplier for catalyst units. And all of the big players in this industry work together with Wieland or would like to work together with Wieland. And in so far, uh, this very special market has become very important for Wieland. And I suggest you follow me now. I show you another unit which is very similar, which is also designed for the same application. As you can see behind me, this is almost the same unit with a few slight differences. What we do not have here is uh, the discharge slide gate, the double slide gate for continuous discharge and we do not have the explosion relief valves which means that uh, the customer of this unit does not want to extract explosive types of suction material just pyrophoric suction material under nitrogen and uh, for the rest this unit is almost identical except for the color of course that's the color of the customer and as you can see here it's really basically the same unit this is now a standard at Wieland and it is really a serious product. Well, that was it for today. VAC news is over and uh, I hope it was interesting for you and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the next video.